Hey guys, it's Zach here with Alldeck, and today I'm going to be giving a brief tutorial on writing a System C test bench and interfacing with our simulator tool, Riviera Pro. So, System C is a C class library that enables concurrent process handling. You can use System C to design as well as simulate and debug whether or not the designs were written in System C. Development and support for System C was driven by Open System C Initiative, which is now Accelera and is an approved IEEE standard. The main idea behind System C is to use object-oriented design partitioning and simulating these designs as a system. So this is a small sample program using System C class libraries. These are core functions used to build the design and simulation files. Our first one that we have is SC module, which is a basic building block that is used to create and build your designs. Um, the second is a constructor, which is uh, a module that creates and initializes internal data structures and as well as uh, be the place where you would set sensitivities and methods or threads for the instantiation. The next one is the SC method, and this is a process that contains a simulation kernel that calls functions and model simulation and input output changes. We also have SC thread, which is uh, a thread that can be used to automate simulation functions and suspend simulation. And then the last one is SC module export, module export, and this will export the design to be instantiated or become top level design inside of Riviera Pro. So now that we've seen the basics for system C modeling, let's go ahead and take a look at a system C test bench. So we're in Riviera Pro and I have my counter designs and my counter test bench designs open. Uh, the counter design consists of a header file as well as a main file, uh, and the same for the test bench, we have a header file and a main file. Right now I've got the counter design header file open up just so we can take a look at that. Uh, we will need to look at this to know how to design for the test bench. So um, I have the SC module declared and the name is counter. Um, I've initialized two input signals which is clock and clear, as well as an output signal that's four bits which is our count. I've also created an internal count um, variable. We'll use that to uh, keep track of the count um, for the counter. Um, I'm calling two different functions, which I'll show in the main uh, counter file, which is uh, upcount and data. And inside of the constructor, I'm calling the module counter. I initialize the internal count at zero, and I set sensitivities for the upcount method as well as the data method. So every time there's a positive edge on the clock, um, up count updates or a uh, positive edge on the clear uh, up count will update and uh, for for the data method uh, every time there's an up count or a positive edge for the clock it will update and uh, anytime clear changes the data will update so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, functions themselves so here we are in the counter main file um, and up count you can see uh, is based the basic logic of uh, our up counter which is um, it initializes at zero when clear. Um, if uh, posit positive edge of a clock, uh, an internal count goes uh, up, and once it reaches 15, it goes back to zero. Um, and the internal count is set to uh, the count is set to the internal count. And then if we look at the data, um, the data for the counter just prints uh, the values for each of the variables inside of our design. Um, so that one doesn't actually do anything logically for the counter. So now if we move on to the test bench, uh, we can see exactly how we will simulate the counter design. So the first thing we wanted to do was initialize the counter test module. Um, we made three signals that are pretty much identical to the input and output signals that we have from the counter, only they're signals instead of inputs and outputs. So we have the clear, the clock, and the count um, declared in this module. Um, we're also tracing our signals using a, a pointer to the uh, SC trace file, which we'll call in our constructor. Uh, we set the counter as a unit under test, and then we uh, are calling the stimulus function that is inside of our regular counter test bench file. So inside the constructor, um, we're routing our signals and um, defining the unit under test with uh, the variables and the inputs and the outputs, uh, clear clock and count. Um, we're also tracing each individual signal to their respective names, which is the clear to clear, the clock to clock, and the count to the count for the waveform. Um, and then we're also um, uh, initializing the stimulus thread inside of this constructor. And after that, um, 
we uh, use a destructor to end the simulation and close the trace file. And then um, that's the end of that module. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, counter test bench main file. So here is where the actual stimulus um, is being written and uh, called from. So here we have the, the stimulus function. And uh, we first started off by declaring an internal so uh, clock cycle counter. We're going to use that to help control our clock cycles. Uh, we initialize the counter with uh, writing clear as high to clear the counter out. And then we run that for clock, uh, five clock cycles. Um, and we're using this for loop uh, using the uh, internal clock cycle counter I um, as our counter um, for this for loop. And we uh, clock write one, and then we wait 10 nanoseconds, and then we clock write zero, we wait 10 nanoseconds. So it's a 20 nanosecond period for a clock, and it runs five cycles. After that, we go to write uh, clears written to zero, so we're able to up count now. And we do that for 18 clock cycles, very similar clock um, uh, construction as the one that we have above. Um, we clear the counter once more for three clock cycles, um, or at least we hold it for three clock cycles. And then after that, uh, clear goes back down to zero and we start up counting again. And then we stop our simulation. And then outside of this, uh, this void function, we actually export the module counter test. And this is going to allow us to instantiate it as our top level design inside of Riviera. So now we've taken a look at the counter design and test benches. Let's go ahead and uh, run the simulation. So what we'd like to do first is compile uh, our counter designs. And you will want to make sure that you have um, system C as a language enabled for your counter design as well. So if we go down to our counter, we can see that the system C module that was exported was the counter test bench module. Uh, we can right click on that and initialize our simulation. Once we initialize the simulation, uh, you can see in our objects view over here, we have the clear, the clock, and the count signals that have populated inside of the object box. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the counter sim waveforms. And we're going to uh, select all of these and then drag them onto our waveform. So now all we have to do is go ahead and hit run for our simulation. And it'll run the test bench that we've written for it in system C. And as you can see, if we zoom in a little bit, um, everything is denoted in true or false for our Boolean values. Um, so as the clear is low, um, we're able to up count. When it's high, um, the count stays zero. And as you can see at the different uh, places, when it's high, it goes back to zero, which is what we would expect from our counter design. The tool used in this video was Riviera Pro, which is provided by Aldec. Riviera Pro is a high-performance simulation and debugging tool. It provides the simulation power needed to develop highly complex designs and debugging tools to ensure they're working correctly. Riviera Pro has debugging features such as showing design data flow, memory visualization, X-Trace, as well as full UVM support and toolbox. It also has mixed language support for seamless compilation and simulation of your designs. Riviera's assertion and coverage tools make designing easier and decreases debugging time. For questions about the software, contact Aldec. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.